Now next complex is CO NH3 6 and 3 plus. So if you'll see there is 6 that's why we have written hexa NH3 is called as amine. Please remember there should be double M for amine and this is cobalt. There is no 8 because it's a positive complex. So it won't be cobalt 8 it's cobalt. In order to check the charge, this cobalt is taken as X. Ammonia is what? 0. So this X plus 0 into 6 is equal to plus 3. So this charge will be X is plus 3. So the name is justified over here. It's hexa amine cobalt 3 ion. Now for this complex, what is the coordination number? Student coordination number also depends upon the density of the ligand. Ammonia is a mono density ligand since it forms one bond. So coordination number will be 6. Here the ligand is NH3 which is referred as amine. Now the type of ligand amine is acting as strong field ligand and it is nitrogen donor ligand. So in short please remember nitrogen donor and carbon donor ligands are what stronger ligand? The central metal atom which is present over here is what cobalt. This cobalt, the atomic number is 27. Again, the configuration is same, it is 4s to 3d7. And the next orbital of the balance so should be what we can. But cobalt is forming complex in cobalt 3 plus. So when cobalt is changing to cobalt 3 plus, there should be loss of free electrons. So it involves what? Oxidation half reaction. If there is a loss of 3 electrons, so first electron is lost from 4s. So this 4s2 will become 0. And there has to be one more electron loss from 3d7. So this 3d7 will become 3d6. So now the configuration will be 4s0 and 3d6. Now let's check the ligands again. Here the ligand is what? Ammonia that is amine. And it is strong fill ligand. So, strong fill ligand causes pairing of electrons. Student, if you will see, for coordination number 6, we require 6 vacant orbital. And if there is a strong fill ligand, there is a pairing of electron. So, please remember, only those unpaired electron will get paired, which provides required d orbital. So, this unpaired will, electron will pair with this. If this pairing will take place, it is going to provide one vacant d orbital. And if this unpaired electron will pair to this, so again this orbital will become. So total number of the vacant orbital which will be provided after pairing of the electron should be what two. So whenever we are doing the pairing of the electron, pairing take place to provide needed d orbital. Please remember. You cannot pair all the electron. You can pair only those electron which provides only 2 d orbital. So in this case, ammonia being strong ligand, it causes pairing of the electron and that's the reason the electron which is unpaired get paired up. By doing this, for this complex in the coordination number 6, it requires what 6 vacant orbital. So the 2 orbital is taken from this inner d this time we are the orbital is taken from the inner d and one is taken from valences and three is taken from the valence b so the cobalt involved mixing of two inner d orbital one valences orbital and three valence p orbital so if you count it the total number of the orbital is one two three four five and six so, 6 orbitals are mixed and it involves mixing of 1, you can say, this mixing of 2, this 2 is indicating number of d orbital, 2 d orbital, 1 s orbital and 3 p orbital. So, in the mixing of 2 d orbital, 3. 1 s orbital and 3 p orbital, the hybridization should be, it is d 2 s this time if you will see student, this D is actually N minus 1D as it is 3D and it is present in the penultimate shell. This D is ND orbital, it is present in the valence shell. 
So valencia d orbital is not participating in the hybridization. This time hybridization is done by the d orbital of the penultimate shell that is inner shell. So this is going to form what inner orbital complex. After mixing we are getting six hybrid orbital. So if you will check this ligand if one Ammonia molecule is taken, its density is 1 and it provides one lone pair. So it will 6 ammonia molecule, its density will be 1 and it is going to give 6 lone pair. If there is a 6 lone pair, so means total electron will be 12 electrons. To accommodate 12 electrons, we require 6 orbitals. So how to fill 12 electrons? It will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, then 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12. So there are 12 electron which is fit. So overall student if you will see the electron, electronic configuration of this overall complex. So if you will see this electron 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This electron is the electron of only cobalt 3 plus ion. And the remaining 6 orbital are filled by electrons given by what? Ammonium. So it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We have to take 6 vacant orbital. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. See, 2d orbital, 1s orbital, and 3p orbital. See, this hybridization should be sp3, d2. So, it should be d2 sp3. It's inner orbital complex. So, it will be. Can you count the number of electrons? Yes, it is 12 electrons. So this hybridization, if you will see, there is a mixing of 1s, 2d and 3p orbitals. So hybrid orbital, it is d 2 sp 3 Since the d orbital is involved from the inner shell, so it is referred as inner orbital complex. Now there is no unpaired electron, so the, it will be root of 0. There is no unpaired electron again. The value will be 0 Bohr magneton and this substance will be referred as dimagnetic. The change of hybridization and the magnetic nature is caused by strong field ligand. So if strong field ligand is present, the magnetic moment will be less and the substance will be less paramagnetic. Or in this case, if you will see, since the magnetic moment is 0, so this complex will get repelled by the magnetic field, so it will be what? Di-magnetic. So the hybridization for this complex is D2SP3 and the geometry of this complex. For all coordination number 6, the geometry will be what? Octahedral. So in this case, there will be central metal atom like cobalt 3 plus and it is attached with ligand that is ammonia through 6 coordinate bond and it is going to form geometry octahedral. You can see there are 6 ammonia molecules which are surrounding cobalt 3 plus ions. The geometry of this complex is octahedral.